Late Night Health continues. I'm Mark Allen, along with the insane Daryl Wayne. We're uh, we're talking with Dr. Uh, Francis Palmer about biological and cellular age, and nobody wants to, you know, as you said, be decrepit at 150, bedridden, and not know who you are. Right. You know, I have said many times on this show, I want to be 118. I want to be able to move on my own power. And I I want to wake up knowing that I'm Mark. Right. Yeah. I mean, and and, and that's why I think focusing on biological age is, is the right way to go about this in general terms, right? You can, you can have a test on either saliva or blood-based, you'll get a return back. And then the things that impact it really are in three main categories. Genetics, we all know that genes will operate and give us a roadmap, a plan of what the cells do, how long they're going to live. And if that were all there was, we wouldn't have anything to say about it. That would be that. But there are what I call biological and environmental factors that will impact it. Biological would be, do you have an acute or chronic disease, or do you have more or less of a key component? So we talk about this calcium AKG. It's a key component to create energy for every cell of your body. That's slightly important. And I think if you have more or less of that as you age, that's going to also have the ability to impact your biological age. And between 40 and 80, that amount of your AKG can reduce by tenfold, not 10%, tenfold. So you may have 10% at age 60 of what you used to have. Compound that with the fact you can't get it from food. It has to be a supplement. All supplements aren't created equally. They have to be absorbed to matter. It doesn't matter what you take in or what you take. It's only what you take in. And so Rejuvent is designed to be time released in the small intestines for maximum absorption. And then... And then finally, the lifestyle ones are what we all talk about, an environmental, right? Activity. You, you, you talk about um, type 2 diabetes. You talk about some of these other things, hypertension. These are all tied back to a sedentary lifestyle. The more you move, the more active you are, the less likely you are to develop those. Do you smoke or not smoke? Do you expose yourself to other carcinogens? Do you get too much excess UV? Are you under increased stress and you don't know how to reduce it? Some of these things have, or do you have a poor diet? All of these things will really impact your biological age. And so you need to be cognizant of all of these if you want to have a more healthy uh, uh, lifespan. And the word you just used, cognizant. Uh, I was talking to a gentleman uh, earlier today before we started recording, and he wanted he, he forgot what he was going to say. And he said, oops, I had a senior moment. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, and I think even, even 20 year olds forget something once in a while, but it happens more and more. If we, you're taking up uh, golf now, I, you know, and, um, I, which is unusual. You were supposed to be playing golf for the last 30 years on Wednesdays. Yeah, well, I, I didn't. I, I was a tennis player and I always said, well, golf is for when I'm older. And now when I got older, I thought I wish I had the speed and coordination that I had when I was younger. But I want to tell you something interesting as a chief medical officer for the company that makes Rejuvent. What I found personally, and again, I've been in, in, in involved in a lot of development. Mm-hmm. And after about three weeks, I found what I call focused energy. And I'm a trained surgeon, so I can focus for 10 hours. So if I tell you I saw a dramatic increase in focused energy, that means a lot. And what that means is, so all the stuff we just talked about, oh, I had a senior moment. Well, what if you had twice the amount of focus and you were doing twice as many projects, you normally would burn out and be fatigued mentally, but now you're not. I think that's an indication, again, of what's going on internally with this supplement and some of these other things that we're doing that then is manifested by a reduction in biological age. That's just the window. And then when you look through is all these biological functions and cellular functions that are being improved. Uh, Brain fog, which is what we were just talking about, is very common, as I said, throughout all ages. 
exercise, moving about is very important. Uh, I know that I should be doing much more than I do. Uh, can you reach a point where there's too much exercise? Well, yeah, I think you can. And so every, I think this is a good uh, sort of time to talk about everything in moderation. That's an old adage, but it holds true. Right. If you take handfuls of supplements, been shown that you're actually doing detriment. They cancel themselves out and become uh, a problematic, not beneficial. So first, don't just take a bunch of them. Figure out which ones you want to take. Exercise the same way. There's a point where you start breaking down muscle. You cause all sorts of issues for yourself. You injure your joints, and now you're out for a long period of time. Exercise at activity level means <laughs> open the front door, go walk wherever it is you can. If it's cold, go to the mall, put one foot in front of each other, and walk for about 30 minutes. If you did that every day, you would not have a sedentary lifestyle. That's not, that's not daunting. I mean, that's anybody can do that. It's just getting the motivation, getting off the couch and changing your attitude from being a couch potato right. to a walker. Well, yeah, right. You right? have to find something that motivates you, something. So I, I tell people that want to do this, I don't know what it is, but find something that you enjoy doing. Uh, in high school, were you active? Uh, I mean, I know you were a great student because you became a doctor. But were you, uh, uh, you know, on the basketball team or the tennis team or anything? Yeah, I, I, I played, I played uh, baseball and football, even though I'm not that big. I'm fast. I'm really fast. I used to run track. I think in junior high, I was the second fastest runner in the school. So I've always had uh, athletic ability and, and I like sports. And I think so that's easy for me. I could always just find a sport that would, would take care of my energy requirements. But I have to tell you if, you, if you, if you're suffering from mental fog, you need to do a couple things. One, you really need to do mental exercises. That could be as simple as just do math in your head all the time. And, and that's just keeps your brain sharp. And in moments of walking, and I typically walk about 45 to uh, 45 minutes to an hour, I have solved huge problems <laughs> because it shuts everything down. My brain works behind the, uh, the scenes. I've come up with patent overhauls with you wow. know, all sorts of developmental issues. I can't tell you how that releases a creative part of your brain. As we get older, I think that's really important. I'm also an avid painter. And I think creatively, you can really keep yourself feeling good by finding something like that that you enjoy doing. That's a that's a great thing. I've been doing um, uh, uh, mental stimulating games on my iPad and iPhone. Yep. And uh, doing that. And I should do the math because I'm that's I'm not I'm not a mathematician at at all. What about diet? Uh, you said everything in moderation. Uh, one of the things that I try to do is at least once a week have a plant-based diet. Now I eat salad almost every day, I would say five times a week. And I try to limit the dressing. I actually uh, concocted a, a dressing without any oil. So it's all, it's vinegar based. Yeah, no, um, I, I think all of that's fine. I think the only thing that I would say is make sure that you get some good protein in there because they, there's the, you know, uh, meat protein, it can be lean meat protein, but it has all the essential amino acids that you need. Plant-based is going to be lacking something. So you can, you can have that in there, but I, but I wouldn't abandon uh, meat proteins completely um, because you're going to need those at some point in your body. Right. What about, you know, fish, chicken? Yeah. You know, uh, right. Pork, turkey. fish, chicken, turkey, all of that is, I think, essential. Yeah, and and uh, occasionally it's okay to have a steak or a lamb chop. Yeah, of course. And I mean, you know, life is to be enjoyed. So my my first number one rule for everybody is just be happy. And if you're miserable because of what you force yourself <laughs> to eat, I'm not sure that that's going to be good overall. So even if it's only one day a week that you're allowed to do that, just find something that makes you happy. Yeah. I, as I said, I try to limit my beef. Um, I'm trying to think of what I've had lately. I, 
have I had? Nope, nope. I'm I, I a lot of chicken. We eat chicken. Do that again, Daryl. Um, <laughs> and thank you. Um, I made Daryl very small on my screen, so it's hard to see him. Uh, doctor, uh, thank you very much for joining us. If uh, somebody's interested, where should they go to find out about Rejuven? Yeah, go to rejuvent.com. That's R-E-J-U-V-A-N-T.com. And they can also learn more if they go to my website, which is drpalmer.com. So D-R-P-A-L-M-E-R.com. Doctor, thank you very much. Look forward to having you uh, back soon. Really thank enjoyed you. it. Hold thank on you. a second. Uh, I'm Mark Allen, along with the insane Daryl Wayne. Don't go away. More coming up as Late Night Health continues. <laughs> 